YouTube and welcome back pioneers to another episode. Today we're going to be discussing how to earn passive income on your crypto. What is passive income? So basically passive income is having your money work for you. Your money making you more money. It's been a great alternative to uh, the traditional banking system, which I think right now offers us maybe 1% a year. Yeah, 1% a year while we're dealing with 10 plus percent inflation. It's crazy. But anyways, it's been a popular alternative. It's a very easy hands-off approach to new investors. And today we're going to be looking at Casper Networks. Casper is a layer one proof of stake blockchain. It's fairly new. It's about a year old since its mainnet, mainnet launch in March 31st of 2021. So let's take a look. But before we begin, just want to start off by reminding you guys that nothing in this channel is financial advice. Always, always do your own research before investing any money. So let's get to it. So here we have Casper up on the screen, currently a little bit above eight cents. We scroll down, just want to give you guys a glimpse of the overall price action. Ca uh, keep in mind that Casper is fairly young, a fairly young blockchain. And it's kind of been sitting in a long, long range of accumulation. The one thing I will say about this is that do not let price action fool you. Uh, Casper is not about hype. They have not been really spending too much on marketing and hyping up the product, but they definitely have been building. Um, so with that being said, let's go look at where you would actually buy Casper if you don't already have some. So if you click on markets here, you can see a long list of markets. QB Global, Coinless Pro. The one where I get it at is CoinX. Um, never really tried any other exchange. CoinX seems to be working pretty fine for me. So pick whichever one you want and go and purchase it there. So right now, currently, there are two different methods of staking your Casper. Uh, one of them is using Casper-.io, which is a new wallet that was introduced a few months ago. And then we have Casper Live, CSPR.live. So I'll be showing you guys both methods. I have a hardware wallet, a ledger wallet, that I'll be using to delegate my Casper, or in other words, stake my Casper. If you don't have a hardware wallet and you have your Casper sitting on an exchange somewhere, the process is gonna be the same. The only thing that I'm gonna omit from this video is how to create an account on Casper Live. For that, there is a medium that I will link down in the description for you guys to uh, create an account if you don't already have one, but let's get to it. So within this medium article itself, it's gonna show you how to install the Chrome extension, this Casper Signer uh, Chrome extension. Just follow the steps here. Once you do that and you've created your account, it's pretty much going to be straightforward from there with this tutorial. If you're use, using uh, casper-.io, first of all, make sure you're on the right site. A lot of scammers out there. Is uh, You can either download the wallet or you can use the Axis web wallet. So I'm just going to go ahead and click here just for the tutorial. And again, all steps are going to be pretty much the same. All right, so I take it you've downloaded the Chrome extension for Casper Live and you're ready to sign in. So you wanna go over here to click sign in and you're gonna be greeted with uh, two options, three to sign in. If you don't have a hardware wallet, which I'm using, a ledger, you wanna sign in with the Casper signer here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my wallet, access my Casper, select your account, wait for it to load, got it, okay. Alrighty, so the next thing we're gonna do is fund our account. So heading over to Casper Live, you'll see this public key right up here. So click uh, the drop down menu and copy the public key. This is going to be basically your address where you're going to be sending your Casper. So I'm going to go over to my uh, CoinX account. The process for many exchanges is very similar, so uh, it shouldn't be too much of a trouble. So I go down here and I'm going to hit withdraw. Casper, make sure everything's correct. You always want to double check, triple check your address, everything that you're doing when you're transferring funds between wallets and between exchanges. Because sometimes you won't be able to get things back if you make a mistake. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit paste here. This is my uh, Casper Live account. And I'm going to actually transfer basically what I'm going to um, stake. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. Let me fast forward through this. It's gotta send a verification code. 
get it over here. Okay, perfect. So the code finally came in after the third third attempt. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. I'm gonna go to my email. Okay, so once you've hit the link in your email, you'll get this. It tells you the destination. Again, make sure that everything is verified. I've gone and double checked, right? The uh, public key, this address right here. Uh, make sure you do, don't wanna lose your funds. Everything looks right. Go ahead and click approve. Okay, perfect. And then I should uh, be receiving my funds over here in my signer site. So here at the very front, you'll see pretty much a lot of data on the chain. On the, over here on the left, you're gonna see top validators. You see the fee that they charge for staking, it range from 10, five, three, 1%, and then their performance, um, how reliable they are. Uh, I would suggest anywhere between three to 5% is a, is a good deal. Uh, it's up to you to pick which one you want to delegate to. So again, look into that. So now that you're ready to delegate, you want to come over here to wallet at the very top. Click delegate stake. Waiting for this to load up. So geez, that thing finally loaded. Comcast, right? They say they're the fastest, but nah, that took me a while to load. It's kind of embarrassing, but Let's move on. So you get to the delegation details here. If you know the public key for your uh, validator, you can enter it here or click into it and it's gonna drop down a menu for you to pick. Uh, one thing that I like to do is go back between the front page. It gives you a list of the top validators and you can see the performance here. The reason I do that is because when you go down here, you don't see the performance. You might click and go, oh, make stake, right? 5% fee, not bad, but it doesn't tell you their performance, right? So let's go ahead and click. Let's do forest staking. Okay, 100%. Ah, come on. Okay, forest staking. Okay, so uh, there's a limit reach of uh, accounts. So it says, please select another validator with fewer than 952 total delegators. All right, so let's go back in here, delete this. Let's do, what are we gonna do? Oops, sorry, wrong menu. Let's do, let's try ghost staking. Let's see if ghost staking is free. Ah, come on. Go staking right here. Oh no, that's too many validators. All right, okay, we gotta pick less than 952 validators. You go with Emerging Technology Association. And then you wanna delegate the specific amount. In this case, I'm going to delegate, say, for this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and delegate a bit. I have been in Casper for a few months now. Um, but I'm just going to delegate a small amount for this tutorial. I'm delegating 7,000 Casper. It gives you the transaction fee 2.5 Casper, which is just roughly 19 cents. You can go ahead and hit next. It's going to give you all the information, the validator, how much you're going to delegate, the fee, and then the total, right? Confirm and delegate. It says, please note, there is a one error delay before your funds are staked. Once they are staked, you will need to undelegate in order to have them become liquid again. There is a seven error delay to undelegate. Error duration is approximately 120 minutes. Okay. So pretty much I'm going to have to uh, wait 120 minutes or so before I can actually start uh, earning rewards. And once they're staked and you want to remove them, there's going to be seven error delay to undelegate. Each error is 120 minutes, so do the math. Seven times 120, that's gonna be 840 minutes. I don't wanna do the math how many hours that is, but yeah, you get the point. So go ahead and confirm 
delegate stake and sign your transaction. Go ahead and click sign. Very important, I have my ledger right here. Uh, you wanna confirm everything on here because it's, I had a day where I had to send some crypto over and I input one wrong letter on my memo and I was able to retrieve it, but it was a stressful two weeks, you know, considering that I had to wait. So make sure you always verify your public key, everything. So. All right, so it says delegation completed, basically a receipt of what you uh, just did. Go ahead and click go back to home. All right, so for those of you that are using your Ledger wallet to delegate your Casper, I went over to casper-.io just to show you that it's basically the same thing, right? You both, uh, two different avenues getting to the same spot. So once I logged in, I was able to see my balance and it matches what I should have after delegating 7,000 Casper. I see that right here. And when you go down to the bottom left, where it says staking, you click on that, let the validators load. Then it'll show you right here, right? It says pending amount, stake 7,000. You can undelegate it from here if you choose to. All right, so heading back over to this Medium article, we just want to quickly go over this one more time. So please note there is a waiting period of one error, two hours, after which the tokens will be staked. You'll be able to track rewards in four to six hours. There's a 14 hour waiting period before unstaking tokens. Remember the math we were trying to do? Uh, 840 minutes, I think is 14 hours. Um, so yeah, so let's go over to Casper Live here. And the big question is, how much are you earning on your Casper? So currently right now, the APY is about 10.72%. Again, if you're thinking about inflation and keeping your money in the bank, earning 1%, you're losing 9%. Because I, I believe inflation is above 10%. I believe the numbers are a bit skewed just to uh, manipulate the data. I digress. But yeah, you're earning 1% of the bank, or in this case, in Casper, you can earn 10% on your money. So the only way you're going to get ahead of inflation and earn passive income and attain the financial freedom that many of us investors in crypto are uh, striving for is by making moves like this, generating passive income streams so that eventually they become this giant flood, this dam of money that just breaks and you just have all this capital coming in. All right, now the fun part. So you've been delegating your Casper for quite some time. You see that you've accrued some nice rewards and you want to unstake them. How do you do that? Pretty much the same steps. So you go over to wallet again, hit undelegate stake. You have your undelegation details. You'll see your balance. And then you want to click into search for a validator by public key. You'll see that mine popped up right here. You'd click it. Enter the amount. Let's see, I want to remove max, right? 7,000. Hit next. Confirm and undelegate. And then here you would just sign your transaction. I'm not going to do that for this step because I'm going to keep staking my Casper. So just on the other side of things, going back to casper-.io, sometimes I know it's easier to just see it instead of just hearing it. So uh, same steps if you want to undelegate here. You want to go over to your uh, staking down at the bottom left. Let it load up. And then it's just basically, I think, two clicks away. So you'll click undelegate once it populates. Damn, comma caps. Really? You were almost there. Come on. 346 minutes later. Oh, well, I think you end. Gosh, that was a freaking long time. Okay. Right here, finally loaded. You see the undelegate section right here. Click on delegate. You can put in a specific amount. You can do a quarter, half, all, whichever one you choose. Then you would click on delegate. I'm not going to really undelegate it now, but you would click confirm, etc. Pretty straightforward. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up for today's video, guys. If you guys have any questions, don't forget that I dropped that link to that Edom article down below. Uh, it may be of some use to you if you have questions or you're more of a reader. Um, but yeah, other than that, if you found this video useful, valuable, informative in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It does help it out so much. I appreciate you so much for watching if you still are. And don't forget, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'll see you guys on the next one.
This is the way.